Hi Leah, it's Gary here. Um, this spa that you sold us today, um, it, it's broken. There was water gushing out of the filter thing in the corner and um, there's no power anymore. The power light's gone off so it's completely knackered. So um, I, I'm just wondering if it was like that when you had it. So if you can give me a call back, that'd be great. Thanks, bye. Uh, Leah, it's Gary again. Can you please give me a call? Thanks. Uh, Leah, it's uh, it's Gary here again. Look, it's really getting urgent now. We've got people coming around in a couple of hours, and we've got no spa. And um, please, please give me a call back. Thanks. <coughs> Spas. Spas. After failing to get in touch with yes. Leah, Gary resorts to the yellow yes. pages to hunt down a repairman who can come out on short notice. But it's late in the afternoon and he's having trouble trying to locate someone prepared to do the job. Oh yeah, hi. Um, we've brought a spa today and there's a bit of a problem and, and uh, it's gushing water out of the corner and, and wonder if you can come around and fix it. Yeah, yeah today, because we need to have it fixed by tonight. We've got people coming around. What? You can't do it today. Okay, no worries, I'll call somebody else. Thanks. This pig's not answering. It says 24 hours, seven days a week. Oh yeah, hi there, uh, um, sorry, what was your name? Didier. Um, yeah, cool, um, we, we've uh, got a spa and we need, we need it fixing really urgently. Uh, we've got some people coming around tonight and it's gushing water out of the corner. So I don't know what's gone wrong with it, but um, we, we need it fixed today. Uh, you can? Oh, that's fantastic. Um, yeah, the address is, uh, it, it's, it's 2 Queen Street, Adelaide. Yeah, cool, excellent, I'll see you soon, bye. DDA confirms that the filter tank is broken and he's replaced it, but it's still not working. His initial thoughts are that the spa is just worn out and on its last legs. He wasn't real keen about being called out on a Saturday afternoon either because he's got a date tonight at the French club where he plays in the house band. But Gary's instructions are clear. DDA needs to fix it in time for tonight's party, so he's evaluating all the common faults that could be causing the array of problems. Well, many things can go wrong. Uh, I must say that uh, heater elements are the ones that uh, usually go wrong. They get corroded. That's usually uh, put down to the uh, water maintenance, pH and alkalinity and all that sort of things. Because the heater is a piece of metal, so it goes in the water. If the water is too acidic, it's going to corrode and then people will call me and want a new one. So that's a classic. Um, Jets is another thing. Jets get broken or rust or don't turn on and off anymore. That's another thing. And then um, electronics as well, like anything to do with the logic when the temperature should come up and down, when the pump should kick in or, or out, things like that. They're, they're, they're the main, uh, major things with spas, really. The, uh, the filter tank was broken here. Yep. All right, which means when you tighten the lid, the water squirts out and your spa drains itself in no time. So the tank has to be replaced, which is what I'm doing now, putting a new tank. And on top of that, there were problems with the, uh, with the pump itself, with the, uh, the electronic box and also the a uh, touchpad, which I'm putting a new one off. Now I'm just replumbing the whole thing, so the filter tank fits to the pump and fits to the other pipes. So that's where the, the challenge is at the moment. After all the drama, the problems are now fixed and Gary and Leanne can finally get into their spa. But Pete and his girlfriend haven't shown up yet or run to say why they're late. 
bag of pity. I'm glad we got in on our own. Ah, oh, yeah, me too. Thank God for Didier, eh? Yeah. I take back all I ever said about French people. Ooh, I like your man here. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> no, we're not having sex in this bar tonight. It's alright. It's fine, we'll just watch something on the laptop. And um, yeah, we, we, we uh, know that some of the neighbours have got unsecured networks around here, so we reckon we can watch some movies online mm. uh, for free. So I'm just having a quick. I reckon it's the single mum that lives behind us. Yeah? Yeah. The, the dog? No, the single mum. No, the one with the dog. Yes, yeah. the one with the dog. Yeah. There we go, I think it's fair. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. So what do you want to watch? Anything. What have we got? How about what can we get? How about Ghostbusters? Yeah. I haven't seen that. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> How long have we been together? Yeah, that long. Gary gets out the spa to use the toilet and it's at that point that Leanne realises he's used far too much chlorine in the mix. It looks to me like you've got a couple of... I don't know. What the hell is that? I don't think this spa's working properly. <laughs> don't wee on my plants! Tyson, stay in the corner. Despite all the problems, it's been a pretty successful first run. Gary and Leanne went on to extend their network of friends and now hold regular spa parties at the house whenever they can. Gary did receive his compo payment, but instead of buying a lawn mowing franchise, they bought a bigger and better spa that seats 12 and it's working fine. And among the regular guests is Didier, the Frenchman who fixed the original spa. Leanne's still not working, but it's probably not such a bad thing because she's got major problems with her son. Tyson's been expelled from school for playing shock and trivia yet again. One of the kids suffered a fit and had to be hospitalised after answering that Canberra was the capital of Australia. This one's about six centimetres long. <laughs> you think they'd wear off when they scrape on the ground when they walk, wouldn't they? Spoil my stories. 